Another deadline passes for Salinas City Councilman Jose Castaneda, this involving his failure to file required campaign statements with the state and the city. Today, Castaneda's attorney says that they have been sent, but the city tells Action News that they have not been received. What does all of this mean? Let's go to Action News reporter Bianca Beltran. Aaron, Castaneda tried to put some of his troubles behind him by filing his campaign financial statements with the Fair Political Practices Commission last week. The commission says that this effort shows good faith in trying to resolve this matter, but he's not in the clear just yet. Thursday, August 6th, was the extended deadline for Salinas Council member Jose Castaneda to file campaign statements with the Fair Political Practices Commission and the city of Salinas. These documents are supposed to be either hand-delivered or postmarked by the deadline. The FPPC got the forms just in time, but the Salinas City Clerk's Office reports that as of Monday afternoon, they had not been received. It's not just the Salinas City Council, it's the Board of Supervisors, it's the elected DA, it's your state assembly people, it's every elected official is subjected to these types of forms so that the public knows that they're dealing with someone who is dealing with the public's best interest and not their own personal best interest at heart. The forms filed by Castaneda declare an income between one and ten thousand dollars. The only other income listed is a four hundred dollar gift. Castaneda's stipend for his service on city council has been withheld since April. At no time has Jose ever sought to conceal anything with regard to his 2012 campaign, financial or otherwise, and the public will see that when they see these filings. Castaneda's lawyer believes his client is being unjustly targeted for speaking out about injustices in Salinas. Still, the sanctions stand and require a response. We're going to be uh, cooperating and seeing to it that all necessary reports of which we are legally obligated to file would be filed. Uh, whatever uh, classes or programs uh, with regard to uh, complying with the city council regulations, uh, even though we reserve our right to challenge those regulations, we feel some of them are unconstitutional. Even when these forms are filed and out of the way, Castaneda still faces other hurdles, including a $5,000 fine from nearly two years ago when a judge stripped him from his position on the Alice House School Board. On top of that, he, there's another recall petition going around, and he faces a center hearing at next Tuesday's city council meeting. Aaron. All right, thank you, Bianca. So that censure hearing is set for the 18th. The city and the public will have a chance to talk about all of the issues surrounding Castaneda at that time.